South Central Calhoun came into last Friday needing to go through the number one team in Class 1A in order to reach the Dome, but the Titans weren't intimidated at all. Keep watching as we take this time to thank our sponsors, Roselle Mutual Insurance, McFarland Clinic, and Mackey Motors. On the Bulldogs' very first drive, South Central Calhoun would pick up a big fourth down stop just as Van Meter was approaching the end zone. Three receivers right, one man left. Pot off, left, left. He'll throw over the middle, and it's tucked and knocked down. Incomplete. South Central Calhoun holds. Ninth play. Jordan Kamanabong knocks it away. Multiple times throughout, Van Meter would recover their own fumble, but the one time South Central Calhoun put the ball on the ground, it was the Bulldogs that were all over it. Cole Corey, throw the ball out to his right, and the ball is on the ground, Van Meter jumps on it. Corey got stripped as he rolled out to his right, Van Meter, they jump on the loose football, and it's their 19th takeaway of the season. South Central Calhoun turnover would lead to just three points for Van Meter, but three points in a game to go to state could mean going home empty-handed. After converting on a fourth down in inches deep inside Bulldog territory, South Central Calhoun would take the lead, scoring on a Blake McAllister running touchdown. The extra point would be blocked, leaving the Titans ahead 6-3. Formation, they turn, they give, this time it's a handoff left side, on touch. And it's Blake McAllister running it in for the touchdown. Titans take the lead over the number one Van Meter Bulldogs. Van Meter's elusive quarterback was causing headaches all night for the Titans. And after a few big plays by the Bulldog captain, Van Meter would find themselves on the goal line looking to take the lead back. Potoff turns, gives to Potoff. He falls forward for the goal line, but the referees will say he is in. The far side official says Dalton Van Pelt is in. His 15th carry of the night is a one-yard touchdown. With not much time left before half, Cole Corey would lead the Titans down the field, giving them a shot to put more points on the board before the break. Corey now rolls out to his right, and he wants to throw. With that left hand, he's in trouble, shakes off one defender, shakes off two. Now he's running down the far sideline, and he's almost got a first down. He does. Wow, what a play. After some missed opportunities, the Titans would settle for a field goal, but following the miss, South Central Calhoun would leave for halftime empty-handed and down at 10-6. The second half was a grudge match, both teams threatening on offense, but each defense would make big plays to stop the other's drive. Van Meter would end up draining most of the fourth quarter clock, but facing a fourth and long deep inside South Central Calhoun territory, the Titans could not get a stop and have about a minute left to try and win the game. Five caught up with the throw, he'll air it out, open to the end zone, caught at the two, and the Bulldogs don't get the touchdown, but that'll move the chain. And the 18-yard play caught by Blade Coons, his first catch of the night, will be the hook, line, and sinker. Yep. They don't have to run the play. All they need to do is take a knee. So the number one ranked Van Meter Bulldog will win tonight 10-6, to assuming they'll take a knee. Titans with no timeouts left. They'll run into that quarterfinal roadblock once again. We would like to congratulate the South Central Calhoun Titans on a miraculous season and wish you the best of luck going forward. Thank you for keeping up with the Roselle Mutual Game of the Week this year. We had a lot of fun putting these videos together, and we hope you enjoyed them.